In this video, I am going to explain the first order reliability method in short form. 2. The typical application of form 2 method is in reliability analysis. The reliability of a system R can be defined with these expressions where PF is the probability of failure, phi is the standard Gaussian CDF, and beta is called the reliability index or the safety index. The main application of Form 2 is to evaluate the value of the reliability index for a system. Usually the accepted value of the safety index is 3 or above 3 and the value of 3 corresponds to a reliability of 0.99865 which is very close to 1. For the Form 2 approach first we need to define a performance function G. For a single load resistance, the performance function can be easily defined as the difference between the resistance and the single load. Let's look at an example. Here, a uh, steel structure is suggested to carry an applied deterministic bending moment of a given value. The yield stress is designated by Fy and the plastic modulus of the steel structure is designated by Z. Then from this expression we can have the, our performance function where the resistance L the, is the product of the yield stress and the plastic modulus and minus the single load which is the bending moment. Here Fy and Z are considered to be random variables and they are assumed to follow the random distri normal distribution with the given parameters. Now what form method do? As we can see in the first step the performance function is defined and then through a sequential number of steps a new value of performance function is calculated and the number of iteration is conducted until the performance function becomes zero. So the termination criteria is the performance function to have a value of zero. What it actually means? It means that the performance function has made the critical point where the resistance meets the load or the where the resistance is equal to the load and this is the critical point now from the final iteration we can have the corresponding value of the random variables and this point is known as the most probable point or in some cases critical point and we can also have the information on the reliability index which here is 5.151 which is way above 3 and which suggests that the system is very reliable.